Take two. It's Charlene LeBlanc, Community Development Officer. We had a little bit of trouble there. Um, hopefully you can hear us. Send us a comment. Uh, Scott, the IT guy, will take any questions. Today we have a hot topic. We have the new building of the municipality of Argyle. Uh, you must be under a rock if you haven't heard. We're getting a new building in Tuscott. It will be across from um, look at these splits like uh, where Marcos used to be around there. Um, today I have with me Graham and Elaine. No, I don't. Who do I have? I lost my notes. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> We're Wild Salt Architecture. Yes. And you're right. Uh, I'm Graham. And I'm Elaine. And this is Elaine, my, my wife Elaine. And uh, we're both architects. Right. And what is your last name? My na last name is Edgar. Edgar. So yeah, I was thinking it was Edgar and Elaine. I thought two E's and sound right. <laughs> All right. So I have Graham and Elaine with us, and they've been hanging around for a while. They are the architects that um, got the bid. Why did you bid? First of all, Wild Salt. What does WildSalt.ca mean? To me, I think of salt meaning like the natural products, like our sweat, our tears, our water. Where did you get the name Wild Salt? Well, that's close. Um, we wanted a, a name that was going to um, express what it was about the coast, about the area that we wanted, that attracted us, mm -hmm. and that we most appreciate. So we really like the natural environment, mm -hmm. we like the wilderness, and um, we, the, the salt is a reference to the ocean, yeah. um, and that you can always taste the salt in the air. Mm -hmm. That's right. And you can. We, we like the, the sea when it becomes really wild. Yeah. and. Um, did you grow up next to the sea? No, no. I didn't, no. no. I grew up in a, in a rural place, but it was inland. So the, the coast was something that really attracted me. That's interesting. Yeah. So Wild Salt, um, why did you bid on this project? Where are you based from? Well, we're, we work and live in Blandford, uh, on the South Shore. Okay. And um, why we bid on this project, uh, well, it, it really attracted us because we could see that there was aspirations there to really express the, the identity and yes. character of an existing place. Yes, yes. And that's what we're all about. That's what we studied. That's what we love to do. Mm, yes. And so this project really attracted us and that's why we, mm -hmm. we wanted it. Yeah. Uh, most of the people at home, or especially in the municipality, should know that there's a, a survey out. They're looking for our input. So uh, fill out the survey. It came with the municipal newsletters. You can also find it online, uh, www.minargal.com survey. And um, if you're doing the paper version, you can bring it to any credit union in Pubnico or in Tuscott. And we will have a look at it. So what are you going to do with all the data you're collecting from the surveys? How are you going to use that? Well, we've had a look at the surveys that have been completed so far. Mm -hmm. But we're also, we've, we've been driving around and, and talking to people and taking photographs, trying mm -hmm. to find out the essence of the place. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're also going to hold a community consultation session where we can ask direct questions. Yes, I heard about that. That's going to be in September. Yes. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I'll be there. Is yeah. there a common theme in the surveys? What, what, do people, what do people want from the building? Well, that's what we want to find out. Um, ultimately, we want to ask what, what people think of the, the area, mm -hmm. what people think of the, the administration, and what uh, people think should be expressed in a new building. Particularly, what message do we want to send out to the outside world? Mm -hmm. Because yeah, yeah. buildings, they really send messages, whether, um, well, an, an obvious example would be in a court, in a courthouse, in the court of law, yes, where yeah. there are, the architecture is such that it deliberately makes you feel small in yeah, the presence those, of an those authority. big columns and it, yeah. you know, looks scary. Exactly, yeah. And so yeah, you're going to make a, f a friendly building, because we're friendly here, did you notice? Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. So that's not the atmosphere we're looking for in good, our building. Good, good, good. Our building good. is going to be more like home. Yeah, good. I, I think that the theme that keeps coming up is that we want our building to be like home, you know, yes, because yeah. that's that's really what everyone here is about. Mm -hmm. It's so they feel comfortable together and yes, a yeah. place that they can feel invite, invited. Mm -hmm. you know? And our culture. Well. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And the water and, and all those important things. Um, now, have you made plans yet or are you not that far? What's it going to look like? Or you don't know? We can't tell you right now because we don't know what the building is going to look like. We haven't designed it yet. Our okay. first step is really to absorb the information and ask the community what you think it's going to be like. Um, ultimately, it's going to be unique and okay. it's going to be very local. Mm -hmm. 
Great. And it's my feeling is that it really needs to tell the story of the the different cultures that exist mm -hmm. here, and um, and pay tribute to the past and tell the story of of the past, but also look towards the future and mm -hmm. send a message about the future and what people's aspirations are. Mm. And, I like that. Those of you who have been to the Municipality Rag on know that it's not it's not wheelchair accessible, uh, the building yes. that we have currently. And um, it's really not acceptable. I'm sure this one's going to be. Absolutely. Yes, Is it going to be one level or do you know that? Uh, we're not completely fixed yet, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, we're, we're leaning towards it being one level. Okay. For various reasons, but that really needs to come out in the, in the design okay. once yeah. we start sketching. Um, so Scott and I are wondering, like, do you have an office for Scott and I? Like, are we in the plans? Or? <laughs> we well, <are>. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we want to put you. Um, we want to make you a lot more visible yes. in the new building, yeah. because we we know what what great work that you're you're doing, yeah. and, um, yeah. and we know that that's going to be important for the, the mm -hmm. future as well. Yeah. That's that's a little scary, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and vis plenty visible every Thursday. Um, tell me a bit about yourself. So you live in Blanford, and I, I did snoop a little bit, and I know you live off the grid. So um, how do you uh, run your home? Living off the grid is it important to you? Have you ever lived off the grid, or is this like is this a project of yours? Or um, we haven't lived off the grid full time before. I guess I had a, a few spells of, of camping while I was on my travels. Okay. Um, I spent two years in Australia, and um, I guess it was really there that my my interest in Eco ecological yeah. design um, began. Um, we generate our own electricity from mm -hmm. photovoltaic panels mm -hmm. and for us it's mostly about living with less and yeah. appreciating mm -hmm. the natural world yeah. and um, ultimately we're aiming towards more self-sufficiency yeah. and less waste. That's right, so we, this year we do our own food um, we do lots of fishing in the summertime yes. um, yeah. and we forage for chanterelles just before coming here and, and, and it's great okay. to be able to do that, just be outdoors, you know. Now, yeah. I would think the new building, um, I mean, it's going to be energy efficient. Yes. Yes. Is there going to be like, are we going to have, uh, can we have solar panels or can we have a windmill? Or can we heat our water with something else? I mean, We're hoping that we can uh, incorporate some of these renewable technologies. Okay. It would um, be nice to, to be like a trendsetter of some kind. Exactly, yeah. 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 There are some details that need to be confirmed as to um, uh, how viable that is going to be. Mm -hmm. But uh, obviously it's something that we're very interested mm -hmm. in seeing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, have there been any questions? I'm not sure. Scott, you have no questions. Um, do you have any questions for me? Questions for you? Um, do you have any questions? I don't have any questions, but I guess what we really want to do is to create a, a building that everyone can be proud of at the end of the day. Like, and, and it just sends a message to people out there that this district is more than just than just what we are right now. That's we can right. be more, and, 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 the, and the building is just going to be something that yeah. people are going to attract more of people to it as well. I yeah. think I think that uh, the staff here and the council and the residents are pretty excited that we're actually going to be visible because yeah. th this office is really hard to find, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, I don't want to run it down, but it, it certainly doesn't come close to the honest that's inside the building. Well, it's yeah. not built for purpose, mm -hmm. so yes. it's not suitable for its purpose. Yeah. Uh, the new building definitely will be. Mm -hmm. yeah. It will accommodate the visitors and provide. Um, amenities and, and resources mm -hmm. and um, and it's going to be a much better experience for the staff too. Yeah. yeah. So how much time are you spending in our community? Have you driven around? Have you yeah. been to different places? Absolutely, yeah. yeah we've yeah. been driving around and, yeah. and seeing places. We, we're we trying to get out to each of the, the communities. We understand that although you're one municipality there's very much uh, there is, yeah. different communities yes. and we want to be sure that we, we incorporate everyone into this. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. What has impressed you the most about our community? I think the, the pride in in cultural origins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like um, it's it's not just about, that that thing doesn't have to just belong to the history. It, it's still here and it's still present. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. detect that it may be underrepresented at the moment. And so that's what we're looking forward to really expressing in the new building, mm -hmm. to give it an identity. Mm -hmm. Perfect. 
Um, I was also going to ask you, like, do you think we can get together again when we get closer to turning the soil or when we have plans? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we, we want to um, make sure that the public is, is going to know what's happening throughout. And so when we have the plans ready, we want to present it to the community too and get their opinion so they can tell us what they think about it. What's going to happen in September at the community engagement meeting? Will you have plans? No. no. Or you will have survey results? We will have some of the survey results mm -hmm. that have been done so far, but ultimately we're going to be asking questions. Yeah. We're going to be finding out what it means to, to people out there. Oh, we might be good. sharing some uh, some ideas and explaining some concepts that mm -hmm. we might be okay. uh, interested in. Mm -hmm. But we won't have the design ready for then. Okay. The, the design will be after that, we, after that we've asked the, the community then we'll start the design mm -hmm. yeah. and then when we've got something to show then we'll come back again and mm -hmm. and display that yeah. yeah this might be a bit of a dumb question but do do people always ask the community what they think or, or ask them for input <laughs> <laughs> well we so. do you do um, yeah. it's do. good um, it's I'm great yeah i can't speak for other other projects but um but for us it's really important yeah. i mean this it is, is really building, important yeah this building is for the the public yeah. it's not for us it's mm -hmm. it's uh, it, it belongs it to is. the public mm -hmm. and it it's is. important that it meets their needs mm -hmm. and um, well, i hope everybody's got that because when it comes in september you come to the community engagement and you have a listen and uh, tell us what you think and tell mm -hmm. us what you wish we were yeah. so can i close with a personal question i always ask the personal question uh, at the end. <laughs> sure <laughs> what kind of fish are you catching in off of blandford uh. <laughs> you catching just mackerel or yeah. what are you cooking up we're catching mackerel, yeah, and sometimes squid. squid. Yeah. Oh, and sometimes squid. Yeah. yeah. So how are you cooking the squid? Oh. Are you cooking just, it? Just lightly battered and, and fried. Like, like a tempura minutes. batter? Yeah, like a tempura batter. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Who's the better cook? Definitely Elaine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine's a brilliant cook. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it was nice uh, chatting with you, Graham and Elaine. And uh, obviously we'll be seeing them around and we'll be seeing them, seeing them again. And we look forward to seeing everyone at the consultation. Great. See so ya. Yeah, have a good day, everyone. See you next Thursday.